And in a year in which we saw trouble in Gaza, Winter Olympics in Russia and the passing of some of our favourite celebrities, the story with the most legs this year concerned the man who had none. Uh, we got more Is It OK's about Oscar Pistorius than any other event this year, including this one from Jen, who said, Is it OK that Pistorius basically got away with killing his girlfriend and only got house arrest? Now, of course, the story of the year concerned the trial for the shooting death of South African model and TV presenter Reva Steenkamp by her boyfriend, Oscar Pistorius. Pistorius was found guilty of manslaughter. This all happened since, we, since our last show. Uh, he was sentenced to five years' jail and may qualify for home detention after serving just ten months of his sentence. He's currently in the hospital wing of the prison because his defence argued that the facilities were not appropriate for someone with no legs. The hospital wing? Yes. Do they know he's not going to get better? <laughs> 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 well, is that weird thing? Because his, his, his defence said, look, the jail's not fit for people with disabilities, and they went, yeah, we'll put him in the hospital wing, which is kind of interesting, because, you know, for a man who spent his entire life proving he could do whatever able-bodied people could do, it's pretty quick to say he was too disabled to go to jail. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd, have, I'd have done that, though. If I'd, I'd, have, I'd have made him carry me into court, I wouldn't have had my leg on or anything. <laughs> I'd have played the disability card till anything. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Name? Bill Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> Is it OK that he was only convicted for manslaughter, do you think? Well, I, I don't think it's for me, you and Alex to decide. I... That's a good point. Well, the next bit <laughs> of the show is going to be boring. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, everyone's given their opinion, but, like, the judge, I, I'm going to say it, she knows, A, more about South African law than me, mm -hmm. and, B, I hope she followed the trial more closely than I did. Cos <laughs> <laughs> if they'd said, I'll tell you who's going to make the decision, those two disabled blokes and, and the short guy who, <laughs> who watch it on the news every night... We don't, I, don't, I, don't, I think if she made that decision, having weighed up the evidence, yeah. then I, fair play. I, just, I found it odd in the show that they said he was negligent. Now, to me, I think you're negligent if you leave your handbrake off in a car park. <laughs> Not if you shoot someone. I just couldn't get my yeah. head He was my too head safety conscious, if anything. I... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I originally thought the judge made the right decision because I didn't think there was enough evidence. Just, you know, I watched it fairly closely, but I didn't think there was enough evidence to convict him of mm. murder. Um, but what's interesting is the prosecution have launched an appeal which will now go to the Supreme Court, saying that under South African law, a person who shoots at another person must have, had not, must have known that those shots would be deadly. So they're appealing on those grounds. How do you shoot and not think that... <laughs> Unless you're, like, doing that cowboy thing uh, and then, like, a hot air balloon comes <laughs> That is literally the only way you can go, well, I'm fine here. <laughs> well, basically, the prosecution is saying that regardless of who he thought was behind the door, he must have known that the shots would kill someone and that classifies as murder. So that is going to be the subject of the appeal, which may be a couple of years away. Was the sentence harsh enough, do you think? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Well, 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 I think, I, I think, yeah, he's he's lost a lot. He's, he's he's lost his liberty. Yeah. And they've obviously people have said he'll never run again, which is the second time they've said that to him in his life. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, we, he's been saving this up, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long three months. <laughs> Well, you're right, the, the uh, International Paralympic Committee have said he won't be eligible for the Rio Paralympics next year. It, I mean, it would have been quite good to have seen him compete there, defend his titles in front of 60,000 people who were just going apeshit booing him. <laughs> That's a, so, everyone thinks that what you think is the greatest part of... You, I mean, everyone thinks... Sod being in prison, what I don't want to do is be booed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what you should do, put him in a gunk tank, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> they would have booed him anyway, because remember in the uh, 2012 Paralympics, he was beaten by the Brazilian, oh. Alan Oliveira, and then Oscar mouthed off afterwards and basically accused him of cheating. And at the time, everyone was going, well, that's a little bit harsh. Now we look back and go, well, it turned out Oliveira dodged a bullet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? <laughs> wow. Do you know what, Adam? Quite frankly, I don't like you making bad taste jokes, but asking <laughs> for <laughs> I've been losing on that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting, I thought, about your interview with Tarantino, <laughs> apart from, you know, the, the notorious nature of the kind of I'm shutting you down, was the bit oh, when he please, said... This please, stop being a dick. And in case you think you're not being a dick, let me put it into perspective. Right now, I can't decide whether you're a worse person than a convicted pedophile. <laughs> <laughs>